kapatid, how does it feel na ito, darating na tayo sa finale bilang, para naging sisters ka na Lina, ng mga drag queens mabuti sisters, sinabi mo hindi mudra hindi, <laughs> ang mudra si Manila si Manila, ikaw Ako sisters evil steps ah, 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 ng mga ah, queens ayun, kasi we shot this actually Three mga pandemic. one year before Correct. na so parang na-expire na siya sa mind ko pero ngayon na pinapanood ko siya uh, sa prime video mismo parang iba yung Ang dami kong hindi na nalaman na nangyayari uh -huh. pala backstage and uh -huh. yung mga connections na na-establish namin. Wala naman akong emotions about it kasi feeling ko kahit ngayon, how, like more than a year into the show, magkakausap pa rin kami ng mga queens, uh -huh. tapos nagbabardahan pa rin kami, nagkikita-kita kami sa mga barangayan na budget, and uh -huh. we're getting to know each other more through our basagan. Correct, <laughs> correct, correct. Uh -huh. So yeah. Um, your thoughts lang of parang nag-collab yung pageantry and drag into this because of your presence, si Catriona on the first episode, oh etc. Power, power na power. Na power. Oh, ah, super saya ko kasi ah, fan din talaga ako ng drag shows. Right. Yun yung mga international drag shows. So, nunood talaga ako. Pero, ayun nga, parang nangihinayang ako every time na may eliminate mm -hmm. And while I was judging drag then, yung transformation, for example, or character development ni Barbecue, ni Omiko, parang kung na-eliminate namin siya ng mga first few episodes, we wouldn't have seen her transformation all throughout na nakakagulat na books, books, lagot talaga. So, yun yung something I really appreciate. Tapos, very transparent then, di ba? Parang very pageant talaga. You're judged by your character, your kuda. So, sobrang saya ko. Kasi, for example, kung yung Miss Q&A ako nagjudge before, kuda lang. Ito, total package talaga. Uh -huh. So, feeling ko mas nag-flourish ang aking brain cells talaga. Correct. Correct. Queen. Speaking of kudaan, kapatid, uh -huh. your thoughts, itong recent Miss Universe, grabe ang kudaan na naganap, lalo na sa top 5 at top 3. Your thoughts on the Q&A? Hindi naman masyadong grabe siya. Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Sorry, hindi. Kasi may mga mas intense pa uh -huh. na editions talaga. Uh -huh. So, this year, like what I said in my YouTube review, wala masyadong social issues na tinanong talaga. It was more women-centered kasi siguro yung redirection nila into their branding na you know what, we're looking for a transformational leader. Pero yung given na, di ba, sinasabi nila ang surprising ng lineup ng top 16. Akala ko, at least man lang yung kudaan levels this time, nakakatakot. In pageantry, spoken in bawawaw talaga. Yun yung in-expect ko. Pero wala ako nakitang parang ala, Zosie Bini Tunzi talaga. Siyempre, Miss USA did amazing sa Q&A. Pero yung impactful talaga na Zosie Bini levels. Correct, correct. Yun but what do you feel, Nicole, do you feel like, uh, kasi they, they were saying na may lumalabas sa mga articles saying that um, sa mga prelims, which is like yung pinaka-cutthroat sa semis, di ba? Yun yung namimili ng semis, iba pa yung selection committee. Prelims and oh, more oh. than that, closed door. The closed door, door, closed door di ba? Mm -hmm. So yung closed door daw, dun sila namimili ng top 16, iba pa yung iba pa yung selection committee, committee mismo na alam na kung sino yung pag mamimili na lang dun sa 16, di ba? Uh -huh. Do you feel like kulang tayo sa naging advocacy this year that um, it should have started by, alam mo yung parang Katriona? Yeah. Uh, well, definitely, yes. Pero kasi feeling ko, if titignan mo, yung mga previous queens, gunari, hindi rin naman as strong as Catriona's advocacy. Pero nakakapasok pa rin sila uh -huh. sa first cut. Pero feeling ko this time na nag talaga sila na transformation. Leader, yun na talaga yung hinanap at hinay-perfocus. May nagsasabi na ikaw na daw dapat yung director ng Miss Universe. Sa communication. Ikaw daw maturo sa Q&A. Tinatag na ako. Pero uh, at the end of the day talaga, it's all up to the girl. Like it's, the organization meets you halfway. Pero ang daming times din na as candidates, linalaban namin kung ano yung gusto namin at yung feeling namin kailangan gawin. Kasi sa huli, ikaw lang din naman mag-step on the stage, eh, mm -hmm. di ba? Pero, ayun, si there, siguro may mga complications, then may, it depends then on the handhold of the organization on you. Pero I always believe that, you know, 
sometimes the organization can only do so much also and the girl could also do so much you have to meet halfway and collaborate talaga that's the secret na Mars sagutin mo na rin di ba kasi nga marami nagtatanong na parang baka na napasobrahan daw ng rampa versus ano di ba yung mga advocacy yung yung organization kung baka dapat instead na mag-focus sila dun sa mga charities that you used to do in Binibini and the other organizations, parang dumami yung socials. Anong masasabi mo dun? Anong observation mo dun bilang isang, uh, kumbaga, no, talagang pageant expert? Actually, hindi pa nga intense yung socials ni Celeste. Parang feeling ko the previous candidates did more postings before. So, I, I thought it was pretty well-balanced din naman. Um, and I honestly thought Celeste would easily get into the first oh, cut. Oh, oh, oh. Sabi ko nga, kahit top 5 nga. Kasi yung face card! Oh, correct! 100! Oh, oh, oh. ba? Pero... Actually, I'm not speaking about Celeste, mm -hmm. but the organization correct. per se. Uh -huh. Yung organization yung parang mas... I don't know kasi their inner workings. Eh. And then, uh -huh. the thing with pageantry that people don't really uh, see is more than the organization. Ang daming tao talaga nakasurround sa'yo, lalo na kung Miss Universe ka. So, yung problema lagi is nalilito yung girl. Sino pakikinggan ko? Pakikinggan ko ba yes. sarili ko? And then, syempre, may mga eh kung, eh, kung yan yung suotin mo, hindi eh, ka mananalo. So, parang, shocks, kahit na ito yung gusto ko, eh, sabi niya. Parang nasumpa na. So, parang, it's, eh, kaya sinabi ko na halfway talaga yung organization and the girl. Kasi, ano eh, parang, to an extent, kailangan, uh -huh. nagka-class kayo, kailangan yung paglaban. Ang Pero hindi. dapat, that builds a healthy communication if you do debate, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And wh what do you wish to see in the next candidate that we're gonna bring, bring forward? I think, kasi ngayon na, ang dami ng inopen na doors ng Miss Universe. Like, it started with allowing trans women to step on stage, di ba? And join. join. Uh, ngayon, mothers and mothers, married women na. I think we should send, like, yung someone along those lines who meet those yung mga mas bago kung saan inopen up yung ano yung doors para not naman necessary na controversial pero transformational kasi parang Miss Universe I guess now stands to acknowledge every kind of woman yeah so kailangan may strong messaging siya not necessarily nga yung advocacy na sinasagot natin sa Q&A pero yung who she is lang, what she stands for, what she believes in, if she's a mother, if she got married early, yun. Get. Mm -mm. So pala tayo mo makakabalik ulit ba tayo sa mga, sa semis, sa pagsamis mo yung verse? Sana. Kailangan daw siya nga daw yung pumalit sa ano. Uh -huh. Sabi ng fans. Hindi po ako nagsabi uh -huh. sa mga fans. Sabi ng fans. Sabi ng fans, di ba? Um, uh, if we successfully recalibrate, Yon, that's the yun lang yun. Uh, ano na lang message mo sa court? Pero, to the fans also, <laughs> pero to the fans, let's enjoy this process also. Kasi kahit India had their golden year, Venezuela had their golden years as well. Pero enjoy din natin yung proseso na kung nagkakapato ulit tayo. Diba? Na ayun. Na nga nga pa. There's excitement in that. Correct. Yeah, like, let's enjoy the process. It's part of it. Yeah. So ano, hindi ka ba ba kailangan?